This video is specifically for everyone who's writing in the May-June examination, especially those of you who are rewriting. I know that there are first-time matriculants and you'll also be writing on this particular date, but I think they are going to be most crucial to everyone who's rewriting and upgrading their metric. So you will see that in this video, we are going to be looking at the May-June exam, specifically the timetable of the May-June examination. And while we are looking at that timetable, we are basically going to do some planning planning to come up with a strategy of how we are going to max out the time that we have in order for us to get ready for these examinations. Now we are going to discuss when the dates for the releases of the scopes and how we are going to do the revisions and for which subjects we are going to do the revisions. If you have any suggestions on any topics or subjects that you want covered, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Okay, let's start by looking at the timetable together. Specifically for this channel, there are going to be only a certain number of subjects that we are going to be interested in. So as we are getting into it, we are seeing that the examination officially starts on the 12th of May. It's going to start with an English paper 3. So as we are going through this timetable, basically, we are trying to plan out for the subjects that you are going to be writing with me. The, by those, I mean that the subjects that we focus mostly on in this channel. So in this channel, we know that we cover math literacy, we cover accounting, business studies and economics. But I know that most of you who are doing those subjects are also doing subjects like English as well so we are going to try and be considerate of those students as we are planning content and preparing for those papers so we are seeing that on the 12th of may you are going to start off with english our first paper together that me and you are going to be preparing for together is going to be on the 16th of may which is going to be the maths literacy paper so you can expect that the last video that's going to prepare you for your paper one is gonna be two at least at the very least two days before your paper one paper which means the last video that we are going to do together to prepare you for your paper one maths literacy is going to be that wednesday on the 14th and then when you come back from the examination on the 16th you're going to find the last video that's going to prepare you for your paper two that you'll be writing on monday i'm specific to say last because it we are going to have a number of videos leading up to your examination there's not just going to be one Similarly, you have accounting on the 20th of May. It's on the 20th of May, so about the 18th. That means for those of you who are writing um, maths and accounting, you will see that there will be a maths, an accounting paper on or an accounting video on the 18th, which will be the day before you write your maths. It's not there to confuse you. It's just for you there to have your options because our time management is all different and again remember it's not going to be the only video it's just going to be a multiple videos it's just that the last one preparing you for that paper will be on that date similarly we are going to have you going to have your paper two of accounting on the 4th of june so that means by the 2nd of june which good for you on this one is going to be a religious holiday so because it's a holiday there is no examination so that means you will be free to prepare for your uh, accounting paper too so you should be free for that but also considering that the following day after that you'll be writing your english paper one for most of you and then after that we have those of you who are preparing for business studies paper one so for those of you preparing for business studies paper one as you are done writing accounting, if you're doing both subjects, when you come back home, you will find your video on business studies paper one because your business studies paper one is going to be on the 6th. And then the paper two is going to be on the 13th, but we are also going to be considerate about it, considering that on the 12th, you'll be writing your paper two of English. And I know that one is tricky. So just keep these dates in mind. And then for the economics kids, yours will, your paper one will be on the 20th of June. So by the 18th of June, uh, you should be done with your last preparation for, or you'll be looking at your last video on the preparation of your paper one of economics. And then your paper two will be posted on the 22nd because you are writing on the 24th of June. June. So all of these are just basically the rough dates of when you can expect 
I know that most people will say that two days is too short, but for some students in my experience, I don't know why this happens, but a lot of students leave a lot of things to the last minute preparation. But again, I will still be posting different types of contents here and there to cover all of those um, subjects and all of those topics that are involved in there, especially when you have your scopes and you know what you can expect. Already on the channel, there's a lot of content that is going to be in your uh, upcoming June examinations because they're going to be very similar to what you wrote in March. It's just it's going to be an extension of what you wrote in March. So what you can expect in there is that we are going to be building onto the March content. So if you are covered and you're comfortable with your March content, what we are going to be doing is just going to be a build up. So by the time you write your final examination for June, for those of you who are writing, you should be ready. So let's plan our scopes and revision. So basically, this is me telling you what exactly you can expect in terms of how we are going to prepare for this examination. So what we are going to do here is that you can at least expect four videos or what you should look for as you are preparing is look for these types of four videos in your preparation, right? Make sure that for each and every one of those subjects that we mentioned, remember on this channel, we focus on math literacy, we focus on business studies, accounting and economics. So for all these four subjects, if you're doing all four, if you're doing one or two of them, make sure that for each and every single one, before you write, you would have watched all of these four videos that I'm about to mention, these four types of videos that I'm about to mention to you right now. The first one being the exam scope. You need to know what you are you are preparing for. It's not everything that's going to be on your exam on your examination. So it becomes very important that before you even start with your preparatory videos, before you start looking at content and studying and doing question papers, you exactly know what to look for. So I'm going to post exam scope videos that's going to tell you basically what you can expect to find in your examination paper next you should also look at the paper one full video of any subject that you are doing so for myth some for mass literacy for example there's going to be a full paper one video that you need to make sure that you look at and you go through it before you write your examination similarly when you're writing paper two there's going to be a full video on your paper two that you need to make sure that you have at least sat down with one of these videos from beginning to end and you have absorbed all of the information that you need to the two videos are going to be on the may june 2024 question papers preferably if we have time and de depending on your demand as well and how much help you need we might also add the november 2024 just so you are fully prepared especially for those of you who have a cast mark that is hanging over you and even those of you who don't have a cast mark because if you don't have a cast mark it means the last time you did metric was more than five years ago so you need uh, to remember a lot so depending on your demand we will have both the june and the november 2024 question papers full paper one and full paper two then lastly we are going to have essay predictions videos for business studies and economics for both paper one and paper two so make sure that you also are in the lookout for those and just a reminder of your exam date for the subjects that we are going to be covering together according to the order of how they will be released you will have your paper one of maths literacy first and then paper two then we are going to have your accountings then business then economics they are right next to each other on different dates and two days before each and every single one of these dates is going to be again your final video that is preparing you for every single one of those examination dates if you have any suggestions any special requests leave them for me in the comment sections below if you have any questions as well leave them for me in the comment section below have youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below